Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of solving data problems. This is standard 5.9c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 4 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have fifth grade students at Oakwood Elementary School, and they are recording their favorite ice cream flavors. So we've got vanilla, we've got chocolate, we've got strawberry. And it's a bar graph. Now the trick here is, is it is a horizontal bar graph. So that means our scale that we're going to need to is going to actually be here down on the x-axis. And you notice we don't start well. We've got zero right there, but then you see that little that little valley in that mountain, that means we're just kind of skipping some numbers so that the graph just doesn't get really long since um, none of them are down at 10 or 5 or 15. So we're just going to go from 0. We're going to jump straight up to 35. And so that's what that means, that we just skipped some numbers. But once we start at 35, we have a, a fairly uh, regular pace. We've got 35, then they skip a number, 45, skip a number, 55, and so on. And so we can see what some of these skipped numbers are here. It looks like between 35 and 45. So how we figure out what these missing numbers are. Let me kind of walk you through that real quick. You just take two numbers here, 45 and 35, and you just subtract the two. So there's a difference of 10. So between those is 10. And then what you do is you want to divide that by 2 because you want to find that halfway point. So you find the difference, and then you cut that difference in half, and 10 divided by 2, well, that's easy, that's 5. So that means each of these half lines are going to be 5 more than the 1 to the left of it. So 35, and I'm going to just put it down here, that's 40. And then 45, and that's going to be 50. Draw some lines right there. 55, and that's going to be 60. 65, that's going to be 70. 75, that's going to be 80. All right, so we've got each of our lines here now, which means we can go ahead and we can label our bar graph. So you see this vanilla, that's our smallest, and it does go right on that line in between 45 and 55, and that's going to be our 50. Chocolate. Chocolate just goes straight on one of the numbered lines. That's going to be 65. And then strawberry also goes on one of our numbered lines. That is going to be 55. So it's not a very complex graph once you kind of figure out how to find those missing numbers. We've got 50 vanilla. We've got 65 chocolate. We've got 55 strawberry. So let's go to our question here. How many students did not pick strawberry. Let me just put some arrows right there. Did not, because they normally would either make that all capital or maybe bold it, but they didn't. It's just a regular font size, and that's going to be the trick. Because how many students did not pick strawberry? Well, if all you're doing is looking at strawberry, and you look up there, you're like, okay, strawberry, that's 55. All right, well, strawberry, look at that, there's 55 wrong answer because that's how many students picked strawberry we're looking for how many students did not pick strawberry that's the trick here so if you did not pick strawberry it's not telling you what that means you just have to infer well if you did not pick strawberry what are your only other options well your only other options here are going to be vanilla and chocolate so if we can add up our vanilla and then we can add up our chocolate that is going to be our not strawberry. So that's kind of the, the tricky phrasing of this question. Not strawberry means vanilla and chocolate. So vanilla is 50. Chocolate is 65. There's very little regrouping required there. Add those up and you're going to get 115, which is one of our choices. So that is our answer here, J. 115 students did not pick strawberry.